Welcome back, guys. I'm Optic, round number two of the of the midseason classic. Uh, without any further ado, let's go. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the midseason classic. Hello again and welcome, Rich Lerner alongside my colleague Frank Nabilo here today calling the action from the Cliffs and Lighthouse Point. And Frank, this course features some breathtaking scenery. It certainly does, Rich. Changes of elevation and it's in phenomenal uh, shape. We've got to send our thanks out to the superintendent, Peyton Duncan, who's uh, got the course exactly primed. You should enjoy it, you should enjoy the views. Take your camera as well. This is very scenic up in New England. Now to the tenth hole. Solid pump to third so place. Far, wow. Okay. Steady through the middle of the second round. She does the nickname here. Steady Eddie. Really? Ah, uh, nice. Looks good. Seen some long tee shots, but it's the advantage to tee that ball up, get it up there quickly, get the wind ball. Yeah, I wish happy uh, weekend to you all. It. Hope everyone's doing Rich, well. It's not all gone. This is where you can pick yourself off the canvas and start to hear that mm -hmm. one or two good shots in a row. Oh boy! Wipe away all the negative thoughts from the bad start and just try to focus on what's in front of you. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh. Uh, there you go. I want to jaw it back a little bit because when that ball hits the green, it's going to roll. So I'm taking that into account. Here we go, guys. Frank, the beauty of the game: changing conditions. You've played it all over the world, and you don't play it inside. Oh, hits up! Yeah, anybody can play on a fine, still day, but what separates the nice. good from the great is actually days like today. That's when that little extra attention to detail. The better strike, the better swing, is certainly going to pay dividends. There's my birdie. Straight in put. Take back and to the lead. You can feel the momentum shifting. You can. It might look tight at the top at the moment, but uh, you definitely get the impression we're going to see a change in the lead very soon. Beautiful birdie right there. Winding this one up. Does he have the power? Oh, I'm going to chance it, guys. Grab the fire extinguisher. Put out the. That ball oh, is on oh, fire. On. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, man. Mm. Getting set for this next shot from the rough. Yeah, at least not on the beach. The player need to be careful of here, Frank. Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. Ah, uh, where's that? Oh, it's over there. Yeah, that blue line, that's what I go by. That's my guide. Oh, man. Oh, Into the man. Back cabbage. Into the that ball is swallowed up. All right, now another shot from the rough. Yeah, this time better be better than the I'm one having you just it saw. rough right now. Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going. Just a case of a hole suiting the player's eye. Made the birdie yesterday, and he has a good chance to make another one today. Not a gimme, 
but well within his range. You get the sense now with that birdie that our young star so explosive is setting himself up for a big weekend run. Back here now at the 12th hole, par 4, 439 yards, Frank to the center of this green off the black tees. And if the breeze blows left or right, this hole plays very hard. Uh, one of the reasons why, just through the fairways, littered with bunkers. Not only do you have to pick the right line, but somehow you've got to get that ball the right oh, distance. Oh, big dog, that's to the left. Come on, turn, turn. The lip. Rather there you go. Rather shaped green here at 12. This is a stiff test, no doubt. Good tee shot, good lie, and now a good chance to take advantage here on this hole. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this oh game man. just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. It's kind of hard to read that green from here. This is Come on, slow down, slow down, slow down. Frank, not just a player, but an Excellent. artist. Just beautiful work right there. The only thing I can say, Rich, is that was Seve-esque. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Nice. And he has it for birdie. Now to the 13th hole, and Frank, this could make you quake in your soft spikes. 702 yards, par, par five. It might should be a par six or a uh, seven. Bring it over a little bit to well, the I left here. I think a few people will probably will make six or seven here. You're right. This is a rarity in golf. 700 uh, yards. Here we go. So Forget about any thought of even getting close to this par five and two. Plus, just add insult to injury. The two bunkers off the tee are perfectly placed. They're about 298 yards, smack bang in the middle of that. Uh, I doubt you can get past those. But you need the a good optic drive, comet. Really, to try and leave yourself a, a short third shot. Need to green tail. Just a solid second shot right in the fairway. Now the second shot to the par five. Uh, ooh. Well, and I'm not going to reach it in two, but I'll give it my best. He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. Well, Frank, as we know, golf is not played generally on a flat surface, and here we go, uphill. Yeah, and the uh, uphill is going to guarantee you more oh, loft than normal. So you're going to have to counteract that with uh, maybe an extra club. Yeah, you might want to listen to the announcers or the commentators. They'll, they, they can leave some hints for you. The ball's not going to travel very far when it drops. Oh, but not one backspin. Play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. Eighteen footer. Nice. So the dominant performance continues. Yeah, we're watching two tournaments right now, the one at the top and the rest. Now at the par 314. All right, guys, we've got one more hole up to this. Water. Frank, you, you could last hole. big numbers on this golf course. Uh, I would think ooh. if you walk out of here today having shot under par, you have to be really uh, happy. Certainly as big boy golf yeah, playing around uh, the cliffs at Lighthouse Point, Rich. And this is another example here of this beefy par three, 240 yards. Uh, you can see Lake Zimmer protects the 
Let's front see. of this green and to the right, and that's obviously where they get all their irrigation water from. But uh, it's enough green left yeah, of the flag take it into here. account that's the, really uh, going to be looking at that the front roll of the ball section. here. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sit, sit, sit. All right, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep, nice. That man. He is just uh, unbelievable, that. that never All right, ladies and gentlemen, last put line. in the round. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. And to end this video. Really hitting on all cylinders now. Nine and that's going to do it, guys. But make sure to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Round number three coming well, up next. Books, Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. See why the leaders are on uh, Dr. Fanboy74 signing out, guys. Still a long ways to go Peace in this out. tournament.